Welcome to this video. ClearSCADA supports creating logic diagrams with various programming languages such as ladder diagram, functional block diagrams, sequential flow diagrams, and structured text programming. Structured text is a high-level language developed for use in industrial control applications. You can use structured text programs to perform calculations and define the behavior of values within the database. In this video, we will create a structured text program that monitors the input states of our pumps created in the previous chapter. The program will reset the start command output when it detects that the pump running feedback has turned on after the command is issued. We will first create a new structured text logic program in the pump template. By doing so, each pump in the system has the reset functionality. We will also run the structured text logic program by defining the execution settings on the logic form. VOX provides debugging features that allow you to step through each executable statement in your program. At the end of the video, we will use the debugging features to debug the structured text logic program that we ran in the first exercise. In the pump template, select Create New, Logic, and then Structured Text Program. Name the program Reset Start CMD. Double-click Reset Start CMD Structured Text Program in the template to display the Structured Text Program window in Design Mode. The top part of the window is where you enter the program code. The bottom part of the window displays output messages, such as error messages if the program does not compile. Type the following program. The program part of the line indicates the start of the structured text program. The reset start CMD part of the line is the identifier. The identifier names the element within the program and usually describes the purpose of the program. It must be an alphanumeric string that begins with a letter. It cannot contain adjacent underscore characters or spaces. The statements between the VAR and end VAR are the variable declarations. They tell the program which objects and properties in the database should be used in this program. Note that the character before the database object name defines the access type. As the percentage I mean read only. Percentage Q means write only. And percentage M means to read and write. Everything before end program is the body of the code. In this case, the code says that the server should turn off the start command if it is currently on and the running feedback is active. The end program statement marks the end of the structured text program. Save the logic program and verify that the message window indicates successful compilation. The clear SCADA server only runs the code if the code validates successfully. When you have created a logic program, you need to define how often the server executes the program and what conditions must be in place for the execution to take place. To do this, you need to define the execution settings on the logic form. We will run the structured text logic program that we created in the previous exercise. To display the logic form, right-click the reset start CMD logic program in the pump template 
and then select Properties from the menu. Configure the execution method to use on Input Processed. On Input Processed tells the logic program to run each time the inputs are processed, which happens when they change. The program could also be run on interval, but this would require more system resources because the program would be running every 10 seconds. Note that only the running input triggers this program to run. The start point is referenced as a read slash write variable in the logic program and is both read from and written to in the program. If the start point was also used as a trigger for this program, the execution would trigger from the start point, possibly update the start point which triggers the program, which will make the program enters an infinite loop. For this reason, variables that are being read from and written to are excluded from on input processed calculations. Expand the pump one instance within the reservoir in the database pane. Verify that the logic program has been propagated to the instance. On the pump mimic in the instance, click the start button and verify that the correct output is turned on. Turn on the corresponding running point and verify that the start digital point is turned back to state zero by the logic program. Now the start button is working as a push button that sends the command and stops sending the command when the pump is on. Now let's see the debugging tool. Clear SCADA logic provides full support for debugging logic code and for stepping through structured text logic programs to verify program flow. Open the logic program in the pump one instance. The statement program executing should be displayed in the messages window. Click the program line. If start command and running then and press the F12 key to insert a breakpoint on this line or right-click and select Insert Breakpoint from the menu. This means that each time Clear Scada tries to execute this line of the program, it stops and waits for you to tell it what to do. A breakpoint shows as a red dot in the left margin of the code, as shown. Select the Logic tab and click Start on the ribbon. You should see the red dot highlighted by a yellow arrow. The yellow arrow indicates that the code execution has arrived at the breakpoint and is waiting for user intervention. From the Logic tab, select Variables on the ribbon. Change the Start value to True and Running value to True. Use the Step Into feature to step through the code and verify that the code executes as expected using the yellow indicator and the variables display. Close the variables window, stop debugging and remove the breakpoint when you are finished. Now you have reached the end of the video, and the end of the basic level of the Clear SCADA course. You now know how to make a logic object and implement it in your program. We recommend you to do the exercise by hand. See you next time.